On the 12th of November 2006, I came across a body mapping project for the first time. A few days before, I had met Xavier, one of the facilitators. He's the one who invited me. I was not sure about going, but I felt very curious about it and thought it is worth a try. During these days, I was a wreck inside. Personally and professionally, I was really hiding behind a mask. It was almost 12 months since I had lost my wife and I was still coming to terms with my status. I was HIV positive. My name is Tom. I was born in Kenya 39 years ago and I live in Nairobi, a city of about 4 million inhabitants. We perceive ourselves as people who need to solve the material needs only, but do we recognize that our mental and emotional well-being are also influencing the world that we are living in. Do we ever think about the connection between our inner conflicts as individuals and our material struggles as a society? How much does stigma, marginalization and loneliness cost us? Do we realize that these mental states are part of the cause of poverty, crime, and violence. Well, I realized this some time ago, and that's why I decided to become a body mapping facilitator. The workshops I facilitated in 2007 was a turning point in my life. Since then, I have been working with art to be a group of visual artists and therapists who use body mapping as a therapeutic process to allow children, youth and adults to tell their stories and campaign for their rights in public. Since then, we have dealt with different groups that experience social marginalization physical and psychological trauma, people living with HIV, sexual minority groups, commercial sex workers, health workers, and survivors of sexual violence. Body mapping is used by therapists in areas as diverse as eating disorder, weak self-image with victims of torture, or human rights-based youth programs. This is Salim, he is David, and she's Fatuma. I met them some time ago and decided to invite them to participate in this workshop. They will be the protagonists of this documentary and I will try to explain what body mapping is and how it has impacted their lives. First, let me explain how it works, step by step. The first thing Art to Be team does is visit future participants and listen to their stories. In this way, we are able to gain more insight into their social context and understand their particular struggle. I have tried three times to commit suicide, but uh, two times I, I drank poison, but I didn't die. The third one I put a charcoal stove under the bed. Everybody, every boy is gay until he gets to 27, then he becomes heterosexual when he's ripe for marriage. So there was, I didn't have, I didn't, 
I, it wasn't a problem for me mm -hmm. because I thought that that's how everybody was. Uh, in the early 20s is when I began to notice, I think this is different. Many people know that I'm a sex worker, I'm a bad girl, I um, take the husband of people because I'm not married. You can do it. It depends. You can do it, but you know, you just do because you just search the money. It's not safe, but you just do it because of problems. Okay, some can even harass you, force you. You have, even you have got your condoms in your pocket, but when you told her, can you wear this condom? No, I'm not going to wear. Why am I going to wear? You think I'm sick? No, no. You know, they just beat you and do the, one she, the way she's going to do without. What will you do? And somebody, maybe I've got a pistol. Somebody, maybe I've got a knife. You know? People used to go with so many things tonight. Now, we are ready for the workshop. As usual, the participants came late, but at the end, we could start. It takes a lot of patience to be a body mapping facilitator. We start with what we call the window into your life, an activity we use to take participants further into drawing as a way of telling one's own story. Each participant is given three sheets of paper and we ask them three questions, one at a time. Where do you come from? Where do I come from? How do you see yourself today? How do you see yourself in the next two years? standing on something very firm and it helps if you have a cover. It's not necessary but I think it's for you stand on is very important. I drew my heart using red inside then blue outside uh, and this heart is very big. I believe that I have a big heart. To people's goods to their estimation but uh, my friends, my customers, they call me taxi. I'm always happy. I don't want to think about something which will make me sad. When it's raining, and when the rain rains, making of drawing your name brought already a lot of your attributes, you know, who, who you are, your your identity, and uh, and I think that's that's already very very strong. The second day marks the beginning of the work on the body maps. To help the participants loosen up and come closer, we start with a touching activity. Then the participants trace their outlines onto their canvas. This is the foundation of all the following creative work. Once each participant has their outline on their canvas, they paint their whole body in a meaningful color. Yeah. 
Then they paint their hands and footprints and use them as stencils on their piece. The third day is the most intense and change-provoking. We focus on the development of two painted symbols. One is difficulty in the participant's life, how it affects them, and the other is the inner resource we have to overcome the difficulty. For both symbols, we guide the group through a meditative body journey and visualization exercise. The drawings are then shared in the group and later used to paint the final versions of the body map. The fourth day we ask, who or what is giving you support? It is the time when we shift from the inner self to the outside world. Very often, vulnerable people fail to recognize the existing support in their lives because of isolation or self-stigma. Everything I give to the world is colored in pink because in fact the reality of my being, even though my strength is black because I perceive black to be strength, um, my reality is actually colored in pink. We help participants to realize that they are not alone and that there is potential care and love around them. The fifth day takes participants to the remaining backgrounds of their body maps by working on images and written messages. This becomes the interface with the wider world in social context. It's often the moment which people pour their hearts out to those around them. We usually finish with an exhibition of the artworks where participants are able to retell their stories. It's often a time when people realize that body mapping can help them to communicate the most significant and sometimes hidden aspects of their lives to others. Perhaps the, the main issue was, um, you know, opening up to, to, to people and wondering are they going to, to be accepting, you know, that diverse setting. Um, after the first day, I actually felt like even I didn't want to take an internal journey myself because, I, you know, if you're an activist, you are busy doing things outside your life. But in the, through that process, what was happening is you get to question your, your motivations and, and, and emotions and feelings that go in, and it's, it takes a bit of courage to take that. I've never even talked my life to people like they have done my first time since I was born to give you the work I do. Let me say that seminar makes me even not to fear. Even if can somebody come, oh, we go without work, I can just say yes because I see 
even people who are sick you can't different different them with those sick and those who are not sick all the strengths of each and everything is in my heart but when i was in school also i didn't la like art but uh, by that time, I didn't know art was inside my body. Uh, I love that name of body map because it reminds me that name put me away from stigma. Because we, I, that was the first time to, to be with people who um, are HIV posted just like me and we talk people talking about their stories and if you sometimes you compare their stories and my stories I feel pity to them I see if mine is just a little thing but they have got big troubles and uh, they are patients and uh, what I need I need just to be patient. I think Salim, David and Fatuma also took their step forward. And this is more than enough for me. They are now stronger than before as individuals, which means that we are also stronger as Kenyans.